So welcome everybody to Thursday morning Pilates Fusion. I've got some tools out here. We've got a ball, band, weights, and roller. If you don't have any of those, don't worry about it because as you know, I always give the exercises without. So come on down and we will start down with a weight if you have. If not, don't worry about it. Arms are straight up. We'll warm up the core. Shoulders right here. Right leg is up. We've got a hold of this and we're going out on an exhale. And in. We're going to do this one as a progression. So this is how we'll start. So exhales out, keeping that neutral spine. Inhales in. Keep going. Good. Breathing it out. Exhales out. We've got three more. Last one. We'll switch sides. We're ready. Out and in. Keep going. Get that pelvic floor engagement going. Got five more. Last one. Here's your progression. Go back to your first side, going out. Now we're coming up. Going out. Coming up. And again, if you don't have the weight, don't worry about it. It's still working. If you need to support your neck with your hands, just cradle behind the neck. Use your core to bring yourself up off that mat and lower it. Four more. Last two. Switching sides. Ready, out and in. So going out, crunch it in. Take it out and crunch it in. Keep going. Excellent. He's got four more. Last one. Okay, straighten the legs out, roll yourself up, off the mat. Here's the full version of what we call corkscrew. So you're going to reach out to the side when you do this weightless, roll down on that one side, coming down, all the way down. Arms come around the head, coming up the other side. Alright, so that's the full version. If you just want to do half the version because the roll-up is not possible, bend the knees, you're just gonna come down and back up and over and back up. So that's the half version. So let's start going down one side, all the way around. So you can do this with a weight. You can do it with a fitness ball in hand or roll it out. And let's go down the other side. Rolling it up. Good, keep going. All the way around the head and up. We'll do six more. Last 
This is cute. Three. Four. The last two coming out. Good. Last one. Okay, come on up and give it a little stretch for a moment. Drop the shoulders. Come all the way down. Bend your knees. Cross your right leg over left. Arms to the side. Here's what we're doing. You're just lifting off, exhale. Keeping the back imprinted and lowering it back down. So counterintuitive, it's exhale on the way up. Good. Keep going, and exhale. You need to tap the heel down, do it. Good, keep the shoulders nice and level. This is all together, keep it engaged. Breathing it out. Keep going. Two more. We'll switch sides. Ready. Pulling it up. Again, we'll do another progression with this one. Breathing it out. Keep going. So this oblique is working just a little bit more. So you have the weight of the leg. Keep going. Relax the neck. Two more. All right. If we switch it back to the first one. We add the upper body crunch with it. Support your head coming up on an exhale. And inhale back down. Exhale. If you have back issues, you can shorten your range of motion, meaning that the leg doesn't go down is low. Keep the engagement. Breathing it out. Exhale it up. We've got three more on this side. Two more. Last one. Okay, switching legs. Same movement, modify where you need it coming up. Keeping that spine imprinted and keeping the spine connected to the mat. Good. Keep going. Breathe it out. Last one. Bring the knees into your chest and give it a little stretch. Roll yourself over on your side, come up to a seated position. Let's do some half roll down work. So with or without the weight, we can actually use a band if you wish. So here is another way of working. So creating a pretty good kinetic link here. If you want to use the band, tighten it up. Without or with weight. Let's go, half roll down with the exhale, rolling up the sit bones, keep the shoulders open. This is kind of a staple exercise in the Pilates world. So really engaging those pelvic floor muscles, rolling up the sit bones, making a nice C curve, and breathing as we move. Okay, so we know how that goes. Keep going. Exhale out. Breathing it out. So if you're using the band, keep that tension going. Give me a little bit of shoulders too. Good. 
breathe it out. Okay, so for working with the band, here's what you're doing. Keep that connection going and you're twisting this way. If you're working without the band, if you're working with the weight, let's go. On one. Same side, exhales out. Keep going. Lots of oblique this morning to start. Breathing it out. We've got two more. Come on up and we'll switch to the other side. Ready and go. Open the shoulders up. Breathing as you move. Keep going. Last one. All right, straighten the legs out, come into a forward bend position. We're gonna do some stuff in extension. So working with the band or the roller or with it. So here are your options. Good thing I'm fast on my feet, right? <laughs> All right, so if you're working with the roller, you're gonna come up. I want you to pull the shoulders right down the back. Without the roller, same movement. With the band, create some tension. Okay, so you're gonna choose the way you're gonna work. Here we go, core's engaged. Legs are just a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Draw the shoulders down the back on your exhale up. Inhale, turn it back down. Pull it up. Keep going. Keep the head neutral. Breathing it out. Keep going. Draw those shoulders down the back. Two more. Last one. Take it back into a stretch. Hips to heels, child's pose stretch. All right, so the stuff that we do up in quadruped, we talked about this last week, you can add a lot to it. You can add some weight. So if you're just going to do the quadruped movement without weight, we're here. With weight, if you want to do it up in plank, you're going to do the arm only, right? So choose which way you want to work. I'll go through all three, but we are going to start now and lift. So quadruped, without, keep going, plank, five more, two more, last one, give it a stretch back. For those of you doing it up in plank, work without the weight if you wish as well. So we switch sides, so quadruped, with or without. Plank, with or without, let's go. Keep going. Two more. Come on down and give it a stretch. All right, 
So we talk about that rotational exercise we've been doing every week. Mid back stabilizers, core, with or without weight. Balance challenge with one leg out or up and plank, just doing the arm work. Let's go. So here we are. Open it and close it. Open it up. Up and plank for right here, keep going. All right, choose which way you want to work. Breathing it out. We've got four more. Okay, come on down. So if you're doing it up in plank, I like to work with a wider base of support with my feet. Certainly if you really want to challenge yourself, bring your feet in a little bit closer. All right. So we switch to the other side. Quadruped if you want to up and balance and open it up let's go and back down then you can do it this way breathing it out flankers we're up right, get rid of the weight if you don't want to use it you have five more Two more. Okay, come on down and give it a little stretch. We'll take it onto our sides with or without the roller. Here's how it goes. Without the roller, we're here and we're lifting the legs up, engaging core and working. Put the roll. We talked about using the roller, it should be a softer foam. If you're going to do it, we're up this way and lifting. So let's get started and lift. Breathing as you move. Hips are stacked. Keep going. Three more. Keep the legs up. Small circle forward. Keep it small. Really stabilize through here. Those obliques should be nice and fired up. Okay, come on up and we'll give it a little stretch. Over the stretch. And then we'll do the other side. So whether you're using the roller or not, you should be able to stack the hips and stay balanced there as you move, as long as you keep the core engagement. There's a big secret. So we're lifting up, exhale, and lowering it back down. Right, so you should be able to get that balance piece by keeping this totally engaged. You have three more. Okay, hold it up there and we're gonna circle it. Exhales two. Keep going. Two more. Okay, come on down. We'll give it a little stretch and we're gonna go back to some flexion work. Come on over and give it a little stretch. All right, so I showed you these a couple of weeks ago. What I'm going to do is show you the modified version of what we're doing first. So if you're doing the modified quadruped, 
we're in, pull in, I want you to really think about getting that core engagement as you come in. So as we're doing our 10 up on the roller, you're gonna do one side. And then as we do another set, you're gonna do the other side. Okay, so if you're gonna use the roller. So that was the modified version. So the roller is basically at your shins. You come up and we're rolling it in. On an exhale. So if you're working in quadruped, let's start exhales on two on that one side. And three. Keep going. Four. Five. Six. Really focus on that core connection. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Give it a stretch back. All right, so those of you that are doing quadruped, you're gonna switch sides. For those of us up on the roller, we're gonna now come onto the side exhale and you're alternating left and right. Ready, let's go on one. So you're folding it in on two sideways. Breathing it out, three. And four. Keep going on five. And six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one on ten. Okay, come on back and give it a stretch. All right. We'll do a little series with the bridge. You can use your roller. You can use a weight. But certainly you can go without either. Either way, here's how we're doing this. Arms are up. Arms go back as you come up into that bridge. And then they come back down as you release it. So with or without the weight, and roller, here we go. Coming up, exhale. Take it back down, inhale. Exhale to the left. Keep going. Breathing it out. Right up to that bridge. Keep going. Breathing it out. Two more. Last one. Okay, if you're working with the weight, put it aside. Options for your next single leg bridge. Either cross this leg over to create a little bit more resistance coming up. More core work, extend the leg out and it hovers by the knee. Okay. Either this way or this way. Ready? And coming up on one. All the way back down. And two. Breathing it out on three. Keep going on four. Exhale's up. Keep going. You've got three more. Last two. One more. All right, switching sides. 
already coming up on one. So if you saw my preview on Instagram or Facebook this morning, you can look forward to doing something today that was in the preview. Keep going. Breathing it out. Bring the hips right up. Exhales. Keep going. Two more. Last one. Okay, draw the knees in. A little stretch. All right. Get rid of that roller. One up. So if you have a band, grab it. If not, don't worry about it. We're up and standing. So you can either keep it single or double it up just for a little bit more work. However you want to work. We're going to start in a plie position. Either arms here if you have shoulder issues or we're up. We've done these before. You're pulling down on an exhale and up on an inhale. Let's go. Just keep working it. Breathing as you move. Stay here, if not, we're staying down in that plie. We're gonna give it a little pull and we're gonna hang out here and go over, exhale. And back up. Keep going. It's that one side. Exhale's out. We've got five more. down and do the other side. Here it is. Breathing as you move. Excellent. One more. Come on up. Shake the legs out. A little stretch forward. Okay, so I'm gonna work with the band with the single leg dead up today, but if you wanna work with the weight, go ahead. If you wanna go weightless or balance, go ahead. But if you're using the band, tighten up on your grip. Give it some tension and come forward as you move. So exhales forward. And inhales up. Breathing. Open the shoulders up. Keep going. Good. You've got four more. something in hand and you're you've got it working with you you may have more balance or less depending on how it goes for you <laughs> I find I get more balance coming forward especially working with the band 
So it draws another focus in on the exercise. Breathing it out. exercise with the ball. Alright? I'm over at about a 45 degree angle. I'm not totally at 90. Just my knees are slightly bent. My core is engaged. So I'm here. And here's the movement. Exhale. Inhale. So I'm working through that oblique area again. Some QL2 in the back. Core is engaged. Go. You're going to keep moving. And I'm going to show you some other options. Keep going on three. With the weight, looks like this. Go, four. And five. That's a good one for golfers if you're a golfer. Six. Seven, without weight at all or ball. Eight, still working. Go, nine. Last one on 10. All right, let's switch to the side. Come on up and stand. Shake it out a little bit. And we'll do the other side coming forward. And remember your position. You gotta get that spine so it's neutral. All right, if you have back issues, go without anything other than yourself. Exhale. Good, let's go. Breathing it out. Keep moving. Last one. All right, come on down and we'll do that arm work you do with the band, but we're gonna do it in the half roll down position exclusively. If you're not using weight or band, you know how it goes, but I want you to really think about shoulder drill, work it. All right? With the band, around the feet. You're gonna keep it nice and long for the beginning. Exhale, you're gonna rotate and pull on one side. So working rhomboids, mid-back, exhale to twist and core. Breathing it out. Keep going. Two more. All right, let's do the other side. Give it a good pull. Last one. Come forward and give it a stretch. All right, so let's face this way. Grab the band lower, half a roll down. We're gonna row and we go on one. We talked about this before too. If you don't have the band, you have weights, then we're pulling still three with the weights. You're working a little bit more stabilizing than the four and four if you're using weights. And five. Keep going, exhale. Breathing it out. Two more. Last one. 
Come forward, do a little stretch. And we'll do one more this way. All right, longer on the band. And again, working without or with plea. Still working. Circle it. And really focus on the lower edges of your shoulder blades to open the shoulders up as you move. Three. Mid back four. Five. Exhales on six. And seven. Eight. And nine. The last one on ten. Okay, let's get rid of that. Give the shoulders a little stretch. If you have the fitness ball, you're gonna put it at your feet. Feet are gonna be, heels are gonna be on it, legs are gonna be straight. If you have the roller, same thing. Heels are gonna be on, legs are gonna be straight. If you don't have either, legs are gonna be bent. All right, so here we go. Heels are on. Head, neck, and shoulders start down. Arms above your head. And we go into that half or full roll up. So either halfway up, or all the way up on your exhale. Inhale and exhale is coming all the way down through the spine. Good. Arms come forward, inhale. Exhale's up. Inhale and exhale's back down. Breathing it out, exhale's coming up. Keep going. Exhale's up. Coming up on your exhale. We've got five more. Ready, on one. And two. Roll through. Three. Going, exhales, all the way down, and last one. Okay, so keeping your heels on the ball or the roller or the bench, so I'll show you what we're doing next. Hands are going to be placed underneath your neck. You're going to take your leg out to a hover, so whether you're here on the ball, roller, or just on the floor, it's all the same work. Ready. And as you come up, that leg stays hovering, exhale. Breathing it out, coming up, exhale. Keep going. Options to keep a neutral spine or imprinted. If you're going to be neutral, you need to be quite strong in the pelvic floor area. So start with the imprint. You can try the neutral. Three more. But make sure you're not feeling your back. Last one this way. Roll the ball in with a little release. And then we're gonna do the other side. All right, coming up on an exhale. Breathing it in. Keep going. got three more. The last one. Okay, you can kick that ball or roller to the curb if you're using it. You're going to kick the soles of your feet together. Now I'm going to show you this one with some weight. All right, so 
prayer crunch is coming up just to here. But today you're going to try and do the roll up with your feet in this turned out cobbler position. It's a lot harder coming up. All right, if you just want to come halfway up, well, you know that you can just come here. So let's get moving here or all the way up. Or you can go weightless. Okay, so here's the test. Can we do it weightless? Exhale's coming up. You really have to use a breathing and a connection to get you up there. But you're going to avoid throwing yourself up. You're going to come up nice and smooth. If it's too hard that way, then grab the weight again. Exhale's up. So you really have to focus on that core connection. You've got five more, however you're doing it, breathing as you're coming up. Keep going on your exhale. You've got three more. I'll give you a little secret with this one. The closer you move your feet in, the harder it is. Two more. Last one. Okay, good effort everybody. So here is the next one and I previewed this one this morning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the alternative to the full first. So if you have shoulder issues and back issues, I want you to stick with this one. So you're gonna bring a leg out and you're gonna do a side crunch this way. All right, so try and use that alternative. Here's your second alternative if you don't feel comfortable doing it that way, knees bent out in front coming up. Full. Here it is, and if you didn't see it on my Insta, here it is, and we're gonna do 10. So our arm starts up and we're crunching it in this way. All right, and then you're coming down, so there's a break in between. So ready? So it's up, crunch, out, down, and lift. This is three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, come on up. Let's give it a stretch. Aren't you glad we didn't stay up there and do the whole ten? You can. So if you want to step it up a little bit, then don't come down in between. So choose the way you're going to work. And we move. Ready? Coming up. Let's go. In and down. And two. Take it down. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Come on down. All right. Do this stretch. So let's work in reverse. So we're going to do some reverse crunches again. We need a little bit of that at the beginning. So if you have a ball, you're going to grab it. You're going to wrap your feet around it, and you're going to pull up this way. Okay, if you don't, we're here pulling up. You have back issues. Keep the lower part range of motion smaller. Okay, so you're going to hear some rumbling with this ball because it's got some weighted sand in it. Adds to the effort. Ready, lift. And lower it. And lift. 
So really focus on pelvic floor engagement and pull. Drop the shoulders. Two more. Last one. All right, let's put it aside. Come all the way down, a little stretch. So just remember Pilates Fusion, we're infusing some out of the box core work as well if you're new to this class. So let's go back to some traditional Pilates work. You're gonna bring your legs straight up. If your hamstrings are tight, soften your knees. If you have back issues, small range of motion. If not, we're going for the full scissor. Head can come up and it's exhale. And it's inhale. And exhale. So switch hit with your breathing. Back is imprinted. Neck is nice and loose. If you're feeling your neck, you're gonna put your head down. And you can work this way. Let's keep going. Keep breathing really. We'll do six more. One. Excellent. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Come on down, give it a little stretch. Okay, legs are up, legs together. Small lower. And lift, or you can go all the way down and lift. Choose the way you want to work. Back stays imprinted, exhales down. Inhales up. Breathing it out on two. Good. Keep going on three. And four. Exhales on five. You got three more. Last one. Okay, drop your knees over to the right. Give a stretch. Come on up to center and over left stretch. Okay, so we'll start with a glute series and then the side legs. So here's how we're going to do this first one. And we've done these before. So if you're going to stay in quadruped, we're here. If you're having issues with the quadruped, you can come down on the elbows and do it that way. Or you can lay right onto your belly if you wish. All right? Or up into that downward dog position. Let's start with the right leg and lift. Choose the way you want to work. Exhale, go. So you're just bringing it up to level with the glue. Two more. Let's switch sides. Other leg. Ready and lift. Breathing it out. You 
we've got two more. Come on down and give it a stretch. So we're gonna switch up the side leg series today. Again, if you wanna be down and doing the side leg series on your side, please do, feel free. If you wanna challenge yourself, come on up, in alignment, out. So nice 90 degrees, legs up, and we're gonna lift. So either way, we're working those glutes too. Up higher, we're working a little bit more with the core, keep it all engaged. Give it a good lift. Okay, keep that top leg up. Circle. Breathing it out. the other direction, 10 more. And then I'm pulling everybody down onto the mat. Come on down, bend your knees. Knees are out in front, heels together and elevated. Open and close. Breathing it out. Keep going. All right, last one. Take the leg out in front. So you can come up on your elbow if you want and lift. All right, now should get that side done. Let's do the other side. So either down or up on that mat. Great, so we're coming down, if we're gonna be in this position, then we're lifting on and on. Good. Keep going. Let's keep that leg up, circle it. Going the other way. Okay, come on down. Everything together. We got those heels together, they're elevated. Knees together, knees bent, lift and lower. We got two more. Okay, come on down with the legs. Extend out in front. The last ten. Okay, come on up and let's give it a little stretch. So. Plant your one leg in front of the other and come forward and give it a little stretch. So that gives you 55 minutes of Pilates fusion today. 
give you a few new ones to think about. Let's switch. Our Tuesday morning 7.15 core hits going well. If you want to join us, it's a good group. It's 40 minutes, so I do 35 minutes of work and a five minute stretch. Let's bring the legs forward. Nice big forward bend. Drop the shoulders and breathe into the ribs. All right, take yourselves down onto the mat. Arms out to a T position. Drop the knees, keep the shoulders anchored and give it a nice rotational stretch. Come to center and other side. All right, come out to the center. Grab the outsides of your feet. We'll happy to eat pose and stretch it all out. Drop the shoulders. Grab your knees together, give your back a stretch. Come on up and we will do the cobbler pose to finish off. So soles of the feet together, nice and tall through the spine, lifting up and come forward. Okay, just hold on to that stretch and as you do that stretch, I'm going to unmute everybody. Thank you for coming today. I hope you enjoyed your workout and we'll see you next Thursday.